and Pope Francis calls this the ideological colonization oh. of the West. Yeah so, yeah, so it's an ideological colonization. I agree and, with that. I totally agree with that. It, it's uh, it's cultural colonialism. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Also, and you should resist it. And you should resist yeah. it. And you and you should use that language. You should say this is ideological imperialism. Yes, yes. This is cultural colonialism. Go home. Dirty <laughs> Yankees, go home. Take your and, money with you. <laughs> we don't want your of, money. <laughs> there's a lot of ideology that that, yeah. that are uh, being being brought here. Uh, I yes. I see that you commented a bit on the reproductive health bill of the Philippines yeah. a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Can, can you just give us a gist of that? Because sadly, we failed. The bill has become passed into law. But I heard your insights, and they're very eye-opening. Well, the, he, you guys failed only because they wore you down. I mean, mm-hmm. they were fighting with you guys for a long time. Yes. I, I don't remember the exact history, but was it, didn't it pass finally in 2012? Correct, correct. Uh, it passed in 2012. Tell people, remind people what that actually did. Yeah, I, I will, I'll remind people. Teen pregnancies are still on the rise each year since 2012. Yep. And it became worse in 2019. The teen pregnancy rise to seven percent from 2018, from the year before. So it's many years in a row that teen pregnancy yeah. is on the rise. So yeah. the proponents of the law still blame it to the lack of sexual education and the lack of access to birth controls. Right. Even though when, when I look to my child's lessons in high school, they already have sex ed. Yeah. Oh, you got to get rid of that too. You guys, yeah. you got to get rid of that. That's mm. propaganda. That is that mm. is nothing, nothing but propaganda. Mm. You really you, mm. that, that's another front in this whole war is the whole um, mm. the whole propaganda war, the, the psychological mm. operation, psyops, you know, as we call mm. it, to mm. to soften everybody up to think, well, sex is an entitlement. Sex without a baby is an entitlement. And so, you know, we have to protect that. That's more important than mm. anything. <laughs> you know, that's, that's where we are in the United States. It's, but but the but the reproductive health bill, the thing the thing that uh, really disturbed me so much about it was how much emphasis the West put on influencing the elections um, mm. in the Philippines. I mean, right. I just thought that was disgraceful. Mm. Um, and 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 they worked on it, like I said, for a long time. I can't even remember when they started probably in the 60s itself that you know they were already saying we got to do something about this high birth rate you know Mm. um and and i pointed out i i gave a couple of lectures about it at the time that was going on because i was trying to get somebody interested you know and at that time i lived in california and there were a lot of uh filipino americans Mm. in california um the parish that i went to probably probably a quarter of the parish Mm. was philippine um, I had a Philippine uh, pastor, you know, associate pastor. Hmm. You guys are evangelizing us. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. for se- thank you for sending us priests. We appreciate it. <laughs> oh. and, 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 and I think what the opponents, uh, what the, the, the proponents of the bill says, and they're framing this as you're just uh, against this bill because of your religious uh, reasons. Well, what was not put into light are the secular reasons as well right. of opposing right. contraception. Right, uh, right. And, um, you know, again, the Catholic Church is the, is the last organization on the face of the earth that is even trying to, fa- to face up to the problem that, uh, that contraception, the contraceptive ideology really calls it, causes. I, that's what I call it in my book, The Sexual State. Uh, which mm. you guys you can buy electronic copies of that by the way yep, guys yep. you know you kindle. can't um yeah you can yep. get a kindle copy of it I, I i don't recommend trying to ship books that far because the supply things are and shipping is all so crazy mm. now um, it, worse with covid than ever before but you can you know right now you can download that book on kindle, yeah. <laughs> on kindle. um but oh. um but but the, the the thing that I noticed is that over this period of uh, Philippine independence, I guess it was, it would. I think I had data from like um, the '60s to the to 2000 or 2010, mm-hmm. something like that, you know. And you could see um, maternal mortality declining. That is, fewer mothers dying in in childbirth. You mm-hmm. could see um, child mortality declining. That is, more mm-hmm. children surviving infancy. Right. You could see that all improving. And 
when you look at that, you go, well, wait a second. The reason the Philipp and at the same time, the birth rate was already declining. You know, that was yes, already yes, happening. Yes, People yes. were living longer. You know, you had like a, I don't know, a 10 or 20 year increase in lifespan over that period of time. Correct, so correct. people are people lifespan. are getting healthier and they're, you know, they're living longer and everything. And so you go, wait, the reason your population is growing is not because people are breeding like bunnies. Hmm. The reason the population is growing is because people are no longer dropping like flies. People are mm. living longer. People mm. are not dying. Mm. That's why. So the, the the rising population is a sign of something good happening, and and now you're freaked out over it. <laughs> and we and should I'm celebrate like, actually that that's happening. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but but because of the contraceptive mentality, we treat of it as it's like a problem. Right. Yeah. Right. It makes no sense. It, you <laughs> it know. Makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To my mind, more Filipinos is a good thing, mm -hmm. right? I mean, more Filipinos is uh, that's, yes, that's, of course. That's a good thing <laughs> to me, <laughs> you know. So, um, but but you have you you the listener, you the reader, you the good Catholic. You have to think this through for yourself because they're never going to point that out to you. They're mm. never going to point out that the cause of rising population is that people are living longer. And 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 are living healthier lives, and fewer babies are dying. You know, mm. and um, and fertility tends to decline in that environment because people go, well, wait, we don't need to have six children in order to have three surviving children. You mm. know, and so people can control their fertility in a lot of ways besides artificial things. You know, um, like like pills and condoms yes. and abortion and things like that. You know, I mean, people have figured that hundred for hundreds of years, people have known how to do this. You know, it's not really mm -hmm. that hard. Um, but what what the what the revolution this, this is a revolution. It is a social and so sexual and cultural revolution. And what it's about is changing the meaning of human sexuality. Mm -hmm. We think the meaning of human sexuality is to bond the husband and the wife and to bring forth new life right and by that by that solidly bonded pair of husband and wife mother and father you have a more stable more loving environment for the mm -hmm. children so it's all about procreation that's what marriage and sexuality is about and what modern man wants to think is that it's all about me and fun and my enjoyment mm -hmm. and i can throw people away I can throw away the baby. I can throw away my partner. I can just throw people away, mm -hmm. you know? And so that that's what's at stake here. Do yes. you guys want a throwaway culture or do you want a culture of life and love? Mm -hmm. That's the issue. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. They will try to change the subject all the time. You need to bring it back to that subject, right? Yep. Hi, this is Jay Aruga of the Jay Aruga Show. If you like what you just saw, please consider subscribing and smash that like button. We'll need all of your help to take back the culture from this ideological colonization of the West. Thank you. <laughs>